Hey out there all you viewers to be named later, how are we doing today? Now today's video is a viewer request. I saw this in a battle box. I thought about grabbing it. I honestly can't remember what battle box it was. But I had a viewer go, hey, what do you think about it? So I picked it up, brought it to, you know, bringing it here to the channel. Nothing really special on the box. Now with a lot of companies, they give you like the little propaganda on how to do things. But that's okay. We're going to get into that right now. That's right. We're going to take a look at Revolt Knives Raptor Neck Knife. And it's R-A-P-T apostrophe R. Now, I like neck knives, okay? The first thing it made me go, all right, really interesting. It came with a ferro rod. The one thing I didn't like, that's your toggle. So that's sitting around your neck to help keep this thing in place. Now, um, yeah, after wearing it for a little bit, you can already see what's happened to the paracord. So I had to add one of these little um, button lanyard things, for lack of a better phrase, that I put on a lot of stuff to make sure it's not going to go anywhere. All right, now let's get this guy out of its little thing, and here we go. We'll get more into this in a moment. But here it is in all its glory. It's simple, it's sweet, it's not really needing to be too much as a neck knife. Part of me wishes this subscriber didn't reach out and go, hey, what do you think? I saw some stuff on Revolt's website, which is revoltknives.com, that made me go, Whiskey Tangle Foxtrot is Revolt Knives, now just Battletack, Reborn. There's two blades on Revolt Knives. One of them is the Battletack Double Locking Karambit, which I'm going to try to leave a card for right up here. And we got to wait another moment or two. Okay, I think that's long enough. And the other one was the Daniel Dabs designed and co-sponsored by Ready Man, the Wraith. I'm going to leave a card for it right up there. Both of those are currently being sold on Revolt's website with the Revolt logo. I went, oh, you, you, you've got to be kidding me. Because that Wraith, uh, it's a pathetic ripoff of the Gerber Ghost Strike. And I liked that Karambit. But now it makes me wonder, was this just a Chinese thing that you guys bought? And are tagging it as a battle tack? And trust me, I'm going to have something on that in a very, very near video. But regardless, I had to get that out because it really, really bothered me. Now, let's get into the fun stuff like we usually do on this guy. It's got an overall length of about 5.5 inches. The blade's 2.125. The handle itself is 3.375, and it comes in at a very minor weight of 1.90 ounces. It fits pretty good in my paw here. I mean, I can get a good three-finger purchase in most of the pinky. And I guarantee if I added a paracord lanyard over here, I, I'd have it no problem. <coughs> now, we do have a plain edge, excuse me, plain edge with a flat grind and kind of a satiny finish to this thing. The blade steel's 3CR. That's what I find it on Revolt. That's what I find it on Battlebox's app. So, 3CR. I do like the two-tone G10 scales. I thought that was interesting how they did that. And yeah, they are kind of wavy, ridgy kind of things. It's got a neat little pattern to it. Like I said, we do have a lanyard hole. Now, <laughs> this is an injection molded sheath with, and this is what I like, 275 pound tested fire cord. Well, it's like my fire cord. That little red thing in there, think of it like a candle wick, all right? It's chemically treated paracord. I should say chemically treated internal strands to really, really help catch a spark and produce a fire to help you get your fire going. Now, when you're putting this back in, don't make the same mistake that I made going, oh, wow, well, you know, why isn't it catching? Why isn't it catching? Huh? You got to pop it back out and that folds over and, well, you know, help secure. <laughs> Dummy. It helps secure your blade in there. But, I mean, it had a pretty good... Ow. Retention in there. So, still. The 
depending how you want to carry it, you know. It does have some really aggressive jimping through here. You really feel it when your thumb is on there and you move it. You can feel your skin moving. So it's, it's, it's really, really aggressive. But okay, let's do the cut test on these guys like we usually love to do. Now, if any of you are wondering why I'm about to do these three, take a look right up here. You're going to see a card for why I do these cut tests. First one up, like usual. Whatever. Let me do these stock paper. Yeah, it's a necker, so I didn't expect much, but you can see the kind of pushing to one side. Yeah. <coughs> no COVID, just fat boy allergies. Can I get a curly cue? Yeah, I didn't think so. All right. Moving on. Paracord. Oh, this should be interesting. Pull test. Ow. Mother of God. That ended up being a slice test. And Mr. Ratchet Strap. What do you expect for 3CR, right? That's all I'm going to say. Yep. Try one more time. Nope. Okay. Not giving me a lot of good happy duty feelings. Let's take a look at the blade like we usually do. I really don't see any rolls or anything like that. Okay. So, I did the homework on this thing on September 23rd, 2021. And it's currently September 28th, 2021, when I'm filming this video. I found it on Amazon, Revolt Knives... And as usual, I took a look out there on Blade HQ. I'll be honest with you, I didn't even remember to write down what BattleBox is charging for this thing. You know it's going to be a little bit more expensive than everywhere else. But still, couldn't find this on Blade HQ. On Revolt Knives, it was $29.99, but everything on Revolt Knives was sold out. Which makes me wonder if they're a new BattleBox thing, because Revolt Knives have been featured pretty much exclusively in BattleBox recently. And on Amazon, it's going to run you $29.99. It's rated 5 out of 5 on Amazon with one review. Now, <laughs> here's the best part of the video, alright? I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, all that fun stuff right down below. I also want to know, do you think this one is a noise or an F-bomb? Noise or an F-bomb? For me, pfft, it's leaving me too many questions. I don't like 3CR as the steel. I get it's a last-ditch item. All right? This is not camping. This is not bushcraft. It's a necker. <laughs> it's designed to get you out of a bad situation, Ricky Tick. But still, the fact that I'm seeing that stuff with... You know, the Wraith, which is being called something else, and Battle Tags Double Locking Karambit, which is now being called something else. I just... Oh, it killed all the joy for me. But like I said, I'm going to have a huge follow-up video on something else Battle Box Markets from Lord and Field. But still, I, I, I just... A subscriber pointed out something to me. I went surfing, I found it, and I went, oh, F me. But still. <sighs> so, if at any point during this video I made you laugh, made you cry, made you sigh, made you do anything, man, hit that big old thumbs up. It's only going to help trigger that algorithm and get this insanity out to some other people. And trust me, you're going to want to see these coming videos. I don't want to make them, but because I found it, I feel i got to talk about it. But with that being said... If you first time viewers on my channel, I just want to say, hey, thank you so much for viewing this video. Look, I know you got lots of options out there on YouTube, and I'm very, very grateful that you chose my channel. Now, for you first-timers and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, well, my question is why? 
What can I do to earn your subscription? Leave me a comment right down below and let's see how we can get that rectified. Now, if you've done all that fun stuff, take a look right down there in that corner. In a couple moments, you're going to see a big channel symbol popping up. Go ahead, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. I made it one touch easy access for you. Isn't that cool? Now, after you beat up that subscribe button, please destroy the little bell icon that's right next to it. Why? Great question. Because that's going to let YouTube notify you, my amazing you know, supporter, every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those videos that we love so much out there on YouTube, two will be popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to pull from my current catalog that they feel is going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My quick tabletop look at Revolt Knives Raptor Neck Knife. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are having a great day, a safe day, and I'll see all of you in our very next video.